to the Future, one of the greatest science fiction movies of all time. Hey, why does that license plate say for Mary though? That's weird. Oh look, it also says Mary on that lion wall near Marty's house. That's weird also. And when Marty goes back to the future, he crashes into a theatre that's playing Assembly of Christ. Hmm, so is Mary Mother Mary? Is Marty Jesus? Is Doc Brown God? Who am I? Jesus Christ! Then there's the whole Twin Pine Mall 9-11 conspiracy theory, complete with terrorists. When Marty goes back in time, he crashes through one of the pine trees, so when he returns to the future, it's now the Lone Pine Mall. Spooky. And don't get me started on the McChicken sandwich. Hello? McFly, McChicken, chickens fly, sort of. The McChicken sandwich was reintroduced in 1988. The DeLorean needs to reach 88 miles per hour to travel through time. And what does Marty hate being called? Nobody calls me <sighs> chicken. Marty is a McChicken sandwich case closed. Okay, maybe the McChicken sandwich thing hasn't been proven, but what has been proven is that Back to the Future and video games don't mix. So, what chance do you think this one's got? Back to the Future for the Commodore 64. Can it break the curse? Who's to say? Well, I am. In a minute. Well, right now. Here we go. First we get the surprisingly good title screen, but sadly no music. Then we're hit with this. What a beautiful menu screen. Why does Marty look like a psychotic clown? The select level option is confusing. You'd think it'd select different levels of the game, but it's actually the difficulty level. The higher the difficulty, the more of Marty's family photo you have to fill in. Okay, let's start. I don't think it's broke the curse! This is an unholy demon. This is one of the most confusing games I have ever played. Even after reading the entire manual, I'm still confused. But from what I can make out, you have to somehow get George, Marty's dad, and Lorraine, Marty's mum, to hang around each other until the McFly family picture gets restored. To help you do this, Marty can pick up certain items that you can give to certain characters that'll either make them follow you, stand still, walk away, or do absolutely fucking nothing. These items are the love poems that can be found at the school, the cup of coffee that's in the diner, the radiation suit that's at Doc's place, the guitar that's in the hall, and the skateboard that's at either end of the street. To pick up an item, you have to press up and fire. To give an item, you have to press down and fire, and to punch, you have to press fire first, then left or right on the joystick. Each item has a different effect depending on the character you give it to. Problem is, the game gives you so little feedback that it's sometimes hard to tell what the effect of the item was. What's also annoying is, if you have the skateboard and give someone an item, you'll lose the fucking skateboard too. And you don't have time to keep going back to get the skateboard because your family's constantly disappearing, you have very little idea of what the fuck's going on anyway, and the game won't stop playing an ear-splitting version of Johnny B. Good. The only other characters in the game are Doc Brown and Biff. Doc's fucking useless and just walks around like he's lost his last bag of crack, and Biff follows you around punching you any chance he gets. But as long as you're walking at him, he'll never hit you, and there's no reason to fight back because most of the time it never works. Plus, you have to stand still to punch, which just makes it easier for Biff to hit you, so fuck that. Lorraine also follows Marty around like a beaten housewife, and George keeps to himself looking like he's lost a tenner and found a fiver. The game is exactly how it looks, a complete mess. Even once you've figured out some things and planned a strategy, it's still a fucking mess. You'll finally get George and Lorraine together and start to restore your family photo, then an item's effect will wear off and everyone resumes to walking around like idiots again. If George and Lorraine aren't together, Marty's face will constantly disappear. 
If it disappears completely, you'll lose a piece of the family photo and I just couldn't keep up with it. The best chance I had was when I found out that coffee freezes Biff and the guitar freezes both George and Lorraine. That fits with the movie. I got rid of Biff and George and Lorraine are at the enchantment under the sea dance together. Perfect. Okay then, why am I still dying? Oh George, where are you going? George, come back here, you bellend. Then Doc just pops out of nowhere and sucker punches Marty because he thinks he stole his crack. What did you do with it, you little shit? I honestly didn't think I was ever going to complete it. But watch this. I give George the radiation suit, which makes him follow me. Then I lead the merry gang of fuckheads to the diner because I need to give Biff a coffee. And by pure luck, I discover George and Lorraine won't walk past Biff. So I essentially have him trapped. And all I need to do now is keep giving Biff coffee. What a great game. Should have been called Back to the Future. Get Biff a fucking coffee. And just quickly, what the fuck is this diner selling? Morts, some days, and comes. So I give Biff coffee for, no joke, five minutes. And with one more rectangle of the photo left, Biff punches me and I think I've fucked it. Luckily, the family photo completes, but nothing changes. Well, Marty's photo's gone, so something's happened. Now I'm at my wit's end. I go back to Doc's house, get another suit, then leave and I'm in the DeLorean. Then it says, game over, incredibly crafty. I mean, your guess is as good as mine as to what on earth just happened. Did I complete it? Why does it say game over? Game over usually signifies failure. And what the hell does incredibly crafty mean? Not only did this game not break the curse, I think it made it worse. Unbelievable. Another Back to the Future game bites the dust. Oh, that actually really up my face.